This is a tutorial to show you how to log on to your Dreambox accounts. So I'm starting with this screen. This is a screen I've had um, a few students and parents ask about how to get past. Um, if you actually click into the link, this window opens and you can go through and read the article. The first thing I want you to notice is Internet Explorer and Edge for Windows. Um, Microsoft Edge, that's the newer web browser that Microsoft has developed and released. Um, Dreambox is not supported on Edge at this time. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing, starting August 31st, Internet Explorer 10 and earlier will be unable to run Dreambox. Um, that's the next line. Most computers nowadays come with Internet Explorer 10. Very few are coming with 11. Um, you can go and download 11. Um, that is the most recent Internet Explorer update. However, uh, I would suggest using a different browser. I would use uh, the browser Google Chrome. So the way we would get the Google Chrome browser, we'll click a new tab, and we will go to google.com. And when you go to google.com, it should pop this up, switch to Chrome, a smarter browser. Uh, I would click the yes, I want it button. And it should bring you to this screen. However, if that option does not pop up, just type in Chrome. And you should be able to download it from here. So if I go to this there it is right there so either way works I would download Chrome I would install that that is the web browser I'm going to show you how to get into Dreambox so that it's easier for everyone to understand so I will minimize that and here's my Chrome browser it will save it on your desktop I believe um, you could also have it pinned to the start taskbar down there I'm going to double click Google Chrome to open a new window. Google Chrome, when you first download it, will not look like this. I have it customized. You can customize it to the way you would like. Um, first things first, we're going to go to the website that we need to go to to get into Dreambox. And at first, we go to Clever. So it is clever.com forward slash in forward slash Murray. If you are not brought to this web page um, check and make sure you typed in everything correctly um, it will still take you to a clever website generally but it may not look exactly like this again let me type it up here one more time so you can see what the website is that is clever.com forward slash in forward slash Murray now once you have done that we will click student login and Another teacher or I should have given um, each student their Clever login. It is the same as last year's login, so if you remember yours from last year, uh, use the same one. However, if you do not know your login information, please see me sometime during the day. I have all that information on me at all times, so I can, even if I'm out and about, I still have it on my phone, able and ready to give whoever I need to. Um, first things first is your username. Generally, it is your first initial and last name, followed by four random numbers. Some students have three or two random numbers, but for the most part, it is four. And then it is your birthday. And I want you to notice is a student password format. It's month, day, and year. You also include the forward slashes. And on the month and day, if you have a single digit month or day, you do not include the zero in front. For instance, if your birthday was May the 4th, 2003, you would type in 5 slash 4 slash 2003. So we will type in our password here. And this will be 
What Clever brings up as soon as you log in, these are different login applications your teachers may use at all time, at any time. Um, Myon is used in our English and reading classes. I believe it is also used heavily in history and science at times. Discovery education is definitely used in science um, and math. Sometimes we will use it. PowerSchool is, a, is an application that we can use for testing. Um, it makes online testing a little easier. Um, but the application we are interested in is Dreambox. So I will click Dreambox. And coming up, this is the screen most people have been coming to. Even if I've just downloaded Chrome, this screen will probably come up. This is the way to fix this. It's a very quick and easy fix. Take your mouse, and I want you to go up here where it shows Secure. And it shows all of the permissions allowed on this website or any website. The one we are interested in is Flash. So it says Ask by Default. We would like to always allow on this site. Once you have done that, if you click off, you notice it asks you, hey, you need to probably reload the page for your permissions to take hold. Well, even if you click that to reload, it will not work. But it is fixed. What you need to do is click off the tab and go right back into Dreambox again. And this time, it works. Now, if that does not work, you enable Flash from up here, and let's say it still does not work, then that means you do not have Flash Player installed on your computer. So we will need to go to a new tab, type in Flash Player, and here it is right here, Adobe Flash Player Download. If you click that, Google wants to run Flash. I will click Allow. It brings us to the screen and it starts showing you how to install Adobe Flash Player onto your computer. If you have any questions, uh, the easiest way to get in touch with me is through Remind. Um, sign up for Remind for one of my classes, whichever one you are. Even if you're not in one of my classes, if you want to sign up for one of them in order to text me, that's fine. Um, you can email me. My email address is, I'll pull it up here so it'll be easier. My email address is mtucker at murrayk12.org. You can send me an email if you like. Um, generally, I'll respond to text faster. That's why most people have started using Remind to get a hold of me. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. And thank you for watching.